caught me in the middle of a truck check. You know what? This reminds me. We haven't talked about fire extinguishers yet and how to properly use them inside of your home. And I'm a little busy today, so maybe my buddy Sparky can take over for me. Good boy. Good boy, Sparky. Good boy. You did such a nice job today with that fire extinguisher. I like the way you started nice and far away and then went towards the fire. That was very, very good. Should probably point out a couple tips while we're having fun though. So we want to make sure that needle's in the green section or else it needs to be recharged or replaced. Another thing I noticed is it's always better to have your extinguisher by a door so you could get out. If your extinguisher doesn't work or if you panic, at least your back is towards the doorway and you could turn around and run out of the house. And it's always important to remember whether you or someone else calls 911 before you try to put the fire out. Can you remember that, Sparky? Why don't you get yourself a little drink? We'll take you for a walk to the hydrant. <laughs> Let's go. Thirty-five. Today we're going to show you how to use a fire extinguisher in case of emergency. Is my oh hey good? Oh hey! Oh hey! Oh hey! Oh hey! Oh hey! Oh hey! truck check it was great